why would I elevate Jesus above all other prophets? If the word of Allah elevates someone, who are we to neglect that or to not acknowledge this? We know that he is mentioned countless times in the Quran. That alone elevates him and makes him great. He is not one who can be found at a shrine or a tomb. The Quran attests, the Hadith will attest that Isa al-Masih is alive, is the only prophet we know of that was elevated, that was taken up to be with Allah. And we know that he will be coming back. This is clearly taught. So he is alive. That elevates him to a very special prominent place. He is also unique in the sense that he is the only prophet who does not have a human father. Allah's intervention has placed the person of Jesus in a totally separate category. He is different and that elevates him. Furthermore, we learn from the khutbah, the preaching of Muhammad, peace be upon him, and it is abundantly clear in the hadith that Isa al-Masih is the only one whom Satan at his birth did not touch with his two fingers. All human beings without exception have the touch of the enemy of Allah and this accounts for their problems in this life. But we are told that one exception only exists. It is Isa al-Masih. He is the only one who, of whom this is said that he is sinless from birth. It calls him while he is even in his, uh, in his mother's womb. It says of him, this holy child, this is the testimony of the Quran. He is unique in this sense.